Hello, I'm in Longcott today and I'm here to show you a charming one bedroom mid terrace thatched cottage which is grade two listed and coming to the market uh, for sale by auction. Um, it's a probate sale but probate has been granted so there's no one would chain and uh, the property uh, would uh, benefit from being rethatched. I've got some more information on that uh, shortly but it does uh, provide an exciting opportunity for a second home or uh, even somebody downsizing or starting out uh, to live in the centre of a really lovely quiet village. There's a very popular uh, village pub here which has just been uh, it's in new, new ownership at the moment and they're doing great great food uh, certainly from what I've seen I've not managed to eat there yet myself but from what I've seen it looks um, really inviting so worth a try um, we're perfectly positioned for Oxford and Swindon uh, with access onto the A420 just literally five minutes down the road um, and that'll get you again to train stations and also onto motorways the M4 and the M40 so parking is on the main street in the centre of the village and then you you take this footpath which only accesses three other cottages um, so here we've got uh, behind me the gate to one of them and then over here we have the actual terrace that uh, this property is part of so I'm going to now sw swing the camera around and walk you through the front garden. So a private gate leads into um, what is actually quite a big front garden and this has been landscaped uh, as a cottage garden but because this is a probate sale it is a little bit overgrown and will need some nurturing to get it back to where it was um, but we've got a, a lovely little apple tree uh, just in here um, they look like nice eating apples to me. Um, there you can see the thatch has been patched so that it'll stay waterproof um, and it's booked, the thatch is booked to be done uh, in the spring of next year. The quote is going to be held and that's just under £11,000 for a complete rethatch of the property so that's worth taking into consideration. So plenty of room for storing your, your logs. And actually, as this is the south facing side, you are incredibly private. Um, you're not overlooked at all. And so therefore you could actually have your own table and chairs out here. So coming into the property, we come straight into the main reception room, which has uh, this amazing chimney breast and a wood burning stove. Uh, nice little cupboard for storage there to the side and a window seat. Beams, as you can see, overhead, there's a little tiny window to the rear and stairs rising. Now there is a stair lift here, which uh, obviously was used by the previous occupant. Tiled floor takes us into the inner hall where there's a door into the garden. And this is where the bathroom facilities are. Again, this has been adapted for disabled use, so would need returning to um, a, a formal shower or bathroom or even a combination of both. Uh, so nice detail here with the exposed stone walls and the timbers and a really high ceiling. And then into the kitchen, which is big enough to have a table. And again, high ceiling with beams a lot of character, we've got um, uh, an electric oven and hob, plenty of room for your white goods and a bank of useful storage there as well. Pretty little windows these, there's so much uh, character here. Nice wooden staircase up to a large landing space so this could be um, a dressing area or a work from home office space as needed could even be an occasional bedroom and here we have the double bedroom up on the first floor again with the wood floors nice original beams there and useful built-in storage so wardrobe space. Stepping outside, we've got this block paved patio, garden shed, and a generous rear garden. Again, 
this has been let go a little bit so there's work to do here in the garden but you're going to have something very special at the end of your efforts so it's quite a wide plot we've got yet another apple tree over in this corner with some what looks like cooking apples on that one um, there's a shed in here tucked away behind the, the growth and uh, further storage here as well along with a decking area so the plot is really really generous and that's both front and rear gardens so just coming back to show you the back of the house again and again you'll see areas of the thatch that have been patched to make it watertight until the rethatching can be done next spring. So the property is being sold by committed transaction, which means that you don't need to be a cash buyer. Um, you can have a mortgage, but really only 50% mortgage or so, um, because you need to exchange and complete, or exchange anyway, within 20 days of the closing um, auction. So that is set for um, later in October and uh, we'll add the details to this video um, so you do need to register through our website if you go to the auction page um, then all the details will be there any questions please give us a call and we'd be happy to arrange a viewing for you